I always knew that I wanted to work with children and work in healthcare. And so medicine was something that I loved doing, learning about, being with people. I can still remember a lot of my patients and what they came in with and the stories they tell. It's been really powerful. Smileyscope, we use virtual reality to transform patient experiences. Kids under the age of 10, about 60% of them report severe pain with needles. So essentially it reframes the child's experience of a painful procedure. It's a virtual reality headset with a phone. So while the child is actually you know, getting cleaning of the arm, um, rather than that being a scary thing, it's actually waves washing over their arms. When we're poking around for a vein, it's fish nibbling, and so they can reimagine it in the way that they want to. I think with our business, the core is empathy, really understanding how the patient is feeling, what they would like to reframe and think and reimagine, um, and really putting yourself in the child's shoes, but at the same time in the clinician's shoes, to make sure we understand how that will all work in a complex workflow, like a hospital setting. One of our big partners that we work closely with would be Two Bulls, which is a digital company, and they help support the animation and sort of really bring our ideas into reality. Working at MAP has meant that we're around both startups but also corporates and academics. And so there's been a lot of doors opened and networks formed by just these casual conversations in the office. We've been really lucky to have the funding with no equity taken. It means that it gives us the freedom to really explore our interests, to pivot and really find that the right business model and the right fit for us. So over the last year, we've essentially come from an idea and excited clinicians uh, to actually creating the product. We've led the world's largest clinical trial using VR in healthcare. And I think at the core of that is really understanding this is something that doesn't have any boundaries. It really is applicable to all children and probably all adults as well. Success for me is really building a suite of products that will transform patient healthcare and patient experience. Probably one of my favourite memories actually was a four-year-old boy. He was really excited and we thought, okay, this is going well. And at the end we said, is there anything you want to say? And he sort of threw his arms up and he said, that was a great feeling. And he literally danced out the waiting room and, you know, that made my year. <laughs>